Tuesday at 4 o'clock. We welcome Bob Wickham oh, around the corner. Nice, nice to see you. See Thanks you. for coming in. Thank you. You want to hold the coffee, get rid of the I've, coffee? I've lost some weight from skin cancer. Well, I hope it's yeah, the fighting, the a fighting okay. Way. Did you just get that done today? Yep. Uh, they threw in a lobotomy, too. It's a package <laughs> deal. <laughs> Well, it's going to be a very interesting interview today. I'm, I'm a, I get a volume discount. <laughs> well, here's hoping that it's okay. Everyone get your sure. skin checked out. It's very That's important. right. Yeah, especially if you have freckles. That's a bad sign. Um, hello. So, yeah. <laughs> I am the person to talk to. Um, well, thanks for coming in. We just started right. kicking off with things I was mentioning going up at the State House today. Right. The budget. Um, one of the things you wrote about in last week's column, which there was a little new news yesterday. Frank Montanero, Jr. Yeah, I'm glad he's pulling back and they're writing, writing a check that he owes the state. That was That's what called legal corruption. He got free tuition for it. It was all very mysterious. Uh, a child and a guardian? I, is that you? I, 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 I did not get free tuition. Who is that? <laughs> his dog? I don't know. His, uh, you know, his Siamese cat? Whatever. Anyway, he's going to write a check back to the state. Which is a good idea. That, that of, should never have happened. He did not. not I emphasize that, to be fair. So far as we did, he didn't do anything illegal. Uh, you know, they gave him a pass over at Rick, which they shouldn't have done. The president let him do this. And, uh, you know, I'm glad it was caught. Now, did you see yesterday the release did not come from Frank, came from a top lobbyist, came from Bill Fisher. Yeah. Kind of funny yeah. that he hired Bill a Fisher. top yeah. lobbyist yeah. to issue I a statement. I, I got to hire a lobbyist, <laughs> the only solution, and an armed guard. Do you think this is the yeah. end of it? I mean, folks clearly, you know, uh, PRI broke the story. There was a lot of attention paid to it. Um, well, do I you wonder think if there are the other people who take advantage of this. We don't really know. Uh, I think you've got to get deep into the weeds. We need some Agent Orange to kind of kill some of the, this, this uh, low, low riding uh, vegetation and find out if other people are doing that too. I don't know. It could be just a one-off. His father is a very, very long time, very, very important labor leader. You know, I've met him quite a few times. A very important guy in the state politically and the state Democratic Party. Whether he got this sort of special uh, pro, uh, provision because of that, I don't know or whether the Nancy Carriello, who was the uh, president of Rick, that was just trying to be nice. She is a very nice lady, so who knows? So it's interesting, you know, Kind of were, honest corruption. You know, in, you know, because we're talking about free college tuition right now, you know, kind of the jokes kind of could write themselves yeah. a little bit. Oh, I know. <laughs> and this is vaudeville. Yeah. But what yeah. do you think of Forest what, Bell. what, the, what the, the assembly is considering now, sort of the watered-down version? Yeah, I think of, that's better than a, than a big deal thing. I just wish more money would go into vocational stuff. I think that's more of the future. And you could probably argue that you know, these community college uh, classes are pretty close to vocational. What exactly you mean by vocational, I don't know. It's, we've talked on the air numerous times. I mean, I, I have a vocational education for, uh, for what I ended up doing, which was loan sharking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the lobotomy has yeah, officially right. kicked that's, in. It's kicked in, that's right. Uh, you know, arms sales, illegal arms sales, and so on. Now, what do you think, so, though, about the GPA requirement? The story Go Local yeah. did today pointed out I think it's, mean, I think it's meaningless because of grade inflation. I don't think it means anything. So the professors will give whatever they need to get the money. And what do you think about which, means testing? Should there be means testing? I think there should be, yeah. I, I think it's a harder sales. They're like Social Security. There's no, there's no means testing for Social Security. Everybody gets it because FDR, Robert Senator Wagner from New York back in the 30s said everybody's got to get into it to keep it supported, to keep it adequately supported so the rich people get it too. I've, I've frequently had these hilarious conversations with very rich people who want to get their Social Security, you know, their thirty or forty thousand dollars a year Social Security. They don't realize they have to go wait in line. You know, forty six. <laughs> they think people are just going to send There's it. There's always so, a price yeah, to pay. Like so their dividend you know, payment. You but don't think there should bring be everybody, some... get everybody to the act. Yeah. There should be some cutoff. Your family income's above two hundred thousand. Your family yeah, income's above yeah, three hundred thousand. Yeah, you don't. Yeah. It, I mean, well, that's what I mean by me. Well, I think it's absurd if uh, Mark Zuckerberg, that criminal, uh, if he were to get it, for example. Um, well, I know that the governor has been on record saying she didn't yeah. want to cut the middle class out yeah. of it, but what does she mean by the middle class? It kind of just said it as you well. Know, median household service. income is about fifty-two grand a year. Median household income. So I suppose is that middle class? I don't know. Well, we'll see. They're moving fast and furious up there with yeah. the budget. Yeah. Uh, just one week again from. Last week it was a late night. I was it was it was a late night for them trying to get stuff. Well, the so. old joke about legislation, especially in the last days, no man's life or property is safe while the legislature is in session. 
Well, they're up there right now as we're here in studio. Interesting yeah. that you mentioned Zuckerberg yeah, because funny you how that came up. sent yeah. along a little article to us, and I just want to see if I can get the headline Actually, correct here. Article. It was a very long yeah. article, but the t it was by tablet. If folks want to check it out, how Facebook ate the news. Yeah, they they basically steal all this info. They get all this information. They get the ads connected with it. They give nothing back to the people who who did the work, to the journalists who did the work at the serious publications. Facebook has had catastrophic effects on serious journalism and on civil society. It's also a giant septic tank of fake news and stuff like this. And then you, you, you read Zuckerberg, uh, you know, expressing complete, you know, purported dismay about all this stuff, even as he intensifies his monopoly. So my question about uh, Facebook and Google, which is the second biggest perpetrator, whatever happened to the antitrust division of the U.S. <laughs> Justice Department, which under Republican and Democratic administrations since before, you know, since FDR anyway, would break up these huge restraints of trade? Do you think Where we'll ever they? see it? Do you think it'll be a matter well, this, of time? Or well, are they, will they I don't just know how extreme it? things get, but Washington is so corrupt, it's basically, it's now become the, uh, the largest brothel in American history, <laughs> and everybody Everybody's, everybody's getting paid off so they can stay in office and then they, they you know, the, the senators and guys, then too many of them hang around, they, they hang up their shingle on K Street and a lot, you know, it's a sort of circular mess and, uh, it's, and they build these big mansions in Potomac, Maryland. Yeah. So one of the things you mentioned in last week's column, as uh, yeah. you kind of alluded to, yeah. Sheldon Way has his new book, Capture yeah, yeah, the Corporate Infiltration it's, it's of American well written. I didn't learn learn anything in particular from it. I was well, well aware of that. I used to cover that stuff in Washington, which wasn't as, as ferocious as it is now. Uh, but one thing that Sheldon did, who was interesting, bring in some interesting historical background. What led to this? Like, I never thought of the Dartmouth College case and the sanctity of contracts. That's a ma major villain in this, because that kind of helped lead to the ruling that corporations are people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, the rest is this. Citizens United. Free speech. There you go. Yeah. So you yeah, go. I think uh, Sheldon's a pretty good amateur uh, historian, and he writes well, and apparently he writes his own material, which is extremely strange for a politician. Well, yeah. let's talk about one more aspect yeah. of D.C. that you touched upon yeah. in your yeah. column, and then talk about maybe where we're yeah. going next week. But let's see here. It was we're Joe Kennedy the yeah. third introducing the bill to create the yeah. National Russian Threat Response Center, a yeah. $20 million agency charged with snuffing out Russian hacking. Right. You didn't really take so long. Well, no. Isn't that kind of the job of the agents we already have? They're getting billions of dollars a year. I, the only advantage of this is maybe they have an office in his district. Maybe that's it. Well, Twenty I mean, million, do twenty million dollars in in this that field would get you two Danish and a regular <laughs> coffee. That is a, a bit break. of a drop in the I hat. Mean, yeah, I mean, this is for the NSA, the FBI, the CIA, and everything. But it, you know, they did they didn't do a very good job last year, admittedly. But you know, but then we had all these traitors like Edward Snowden and stuff giving away our innermost secrets. So, politics yeah. is politics sometimes. Politics yeah. is posture. You yeah. know, whether it happens yeah. or not, they say, we called for it. I wanted this agency. Yeah, we right. needed to get yeah. to the bottom the of it. The past is prologue. The future <laughs> lies before us. You know, <laughs> Pope urges world peace. <laughs> so speaking of the future lying yeah. before us, what yeah. can we expect in your column this week? Well, I'll say a few words about smoking in downtown Providence, which has been banned. And I think Overall, I think it's a good thing, but it, it, it's sort of an expression of our intense hypocrisy. Here we make all this money from taxes on cigarettes. The also, you know, which is sort of hypocritical. Also, you know, we should remember that many of the people hanging around downtown Providence smoking cigarettes, I would, I would hazard a guess at least 60% are mentally ill to varying degrees. Okay. Bipolar, schizophrenic, and so on. And they're, they're calming themselves. They're self-medicating themselves with cigarettes, and I think we need to address that. And the deinstitutionalization means these people are just sort of wandering around. And I think what's going to happen with this, it's going to be pushed out to the, the, uh, the edge of the downtown, like where I work, over near Orms and Charles Street, where they hang around already. Most of these people need a roof over their head, uh, and uh, you know, they need medical and psych psychiatric help. Uh, there's yeah. there's clearly no doubt with that. I know the yeah. city has, yeah. you know, the mayor last year put yeah. forth kind of a comprehensive yeah. program. But then there are the folks that say, well, oh, there's other cities that have done it. It, it yeah. is a public right. health issue. Yeah. I mean, can yeah. the two be rectified? 
Uh, not very well, not very well. I think overall, it, you know, there, there are no kind of final triumphs in this thing. It will help clean up the downtown a little bit. By chasing away mentally ill people, uh, it will probably help business, especially the little stores. Probably be good for that. There'll be less litter, a little bit less litter. It'll, it'll have a marginally ben benevolent effect. But I think my biggest problem is it, it punts on the issue of uh, taking care of these people these mentally ill people. Not all of them. I used to smoke, too. So not, not while well, I was mentally ill, also, of course. But, uh, but uh, you know, so uh, anyway. <laughs> and what else besides smoking downtown? Uh, let me see. Uh, what have we got? We've got, oh, yes. Uh, uh, I know uh, uh, your colleagues talked about this the other day. The Amazon Whole Foods thing. Yes. Uh, I think it's, I think the fear is a little bit exaggerated. I think because we're talking about food, food rots, you may have noticed, it's a real problem. <laughs> you know, fish especially. And I think trying to adapt uh, Amazon's distribution system to Whole Foods is a bit of a stretch. Also, I don't think, I think it would only tend to work in densely popular areas warehouse very close by. Mm. There's a big Amazon warehouse here is in Fall River, Fall which River. probably employs about three quarters of the population of Fall River. So we'll probably work around here, affluent neighborhoods, but the idea that everybody's going to go be buying stuff from Whole Foods is not true. Well, it's it, expensive. It's, it's for expensive thing. for one thing. Yeah, um, yeah. I know that they do take uh, government issue EBT, which is right. interesting as well. Yeah. The intersection oh, yeah, sure. of, it's of money. It's the money. money's money. money but money, you're right. Yeah. You point out Fall River. Is it yeah. going to be pee put us? You have to say a day yeah. in advance when you kind of want the yeah. delivery. Are they going to be bringing you a kumquat with a drone? Yeah, right. <laughs> like, yeah or a nuclear <laughs> powered pomegranate or something like that. You know, I've had conversations yeah. with folks. Yeah. There are things I feel when I go grocery yeah. shopping that yeah. are tactile. You want to touch. You want to choose the right mango. You want the right piece of ribeye steak. You see the banana has a tarantula on it. <laughs> it's uh, it will be so interesting, I know. It's a bit exaggerated. We'll uh, see. Your colleague, Josh, may, may disagree with... Uh, with uh, he thinks it's the biggest thing. game changer yeah. since... I don't think it's going to be quite as big as made out to be. Well, we'll see maybe yeah, in a yeah, year's yeah, time yeah, when he yeah. does Business Monday and you come back on here on Thursday yeah, you know, where I, things I, are at yeah, June absolutely. 2018. One, uh, uh, one other quick, a uh, couple of other quick things. I think there's that. I think I did take note of the airport where it had one success after another. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that's amused me is Scott Avedesian, the mayor, long time mayor for life, basically. <laughs> uh, is he was one of the guys fighting the expansion of the airport for years and years and years. <laughs> And now, which hurt the state, certainly hurt the airport. Now he's kind of backstopping it. I, and I think the, the viewers should be aware of the big change, I would guess, unless there's a terrible recession next year, which is possible given the business cycle, is uh, when they extend the runway, complete the extension, mm. that's when the big increase in the you know really long-range flights, Europe and so on, then you can fly out of Moscow, which I plan to do, and defect, because that's where all the money is. <laughs> There's the lobotomy. That's right. Bob Wickham uh, yeah. defecting, defecting to Russia. Yeah, that's right. And, uh, so but you I, say wait and see year, the impact of the yeah. fully extended runway and how it has It's on. not up yet, and we brilliant management at, uh, mm. at, at the airport now, and I just I think it's just terrific. Great news, great news. Well, we're going to be keeping an eye on that, keeping an eye on the budget, yeah, keeping yeah. an eye on you and your column this weekend. Yeah, great. Okay. Okay, okay, Bob, welcome. Appreciate Good your coming you, in and letting you out. Good luck with that lobotomy. Okay, thank you. <laughs>